Welcome to From Beneath the Hollywood Sign. If you love old movies, Hollywood history, or the golden age of filmmaking, this is the podcast for you. Hosted by writer-producer Steve Kubine and actress-writer Nan McNamara. And now, Steve and Nan. Hi, everybody, and welcome to a preview of From Beneath the Hollywood Sign, the podcast. We've got a really incredible um, episode for you, and this one really is near and dear to my heart. Um, you know, as a young movie buff um, back in Tennessee, on the late, 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 late show one night, I saw <laughs> a movie called I Wake Up Screaming, and it starred Betty Grable and Victor Mature, but it also starred this young, vibrant, beautiful actress named Carol Landis. And our episode today is uh, a tribute to Carol Landis. Um, you know, she had, was a meteor that rose in the, the Hollywood skylight brightly and unfortunately it dimmed quickly so um you know we're going to get into her life her loves and the, the tragedy behind it all and she's one of these actresses that for me um similar to last episode when we were discussing Anne revere someone that you've seen a lot but you maybe don't know her name she was truly a triple threat if i'm not mistaken yes. she could sing she could dance she could act and maybe I would say quadruple in that she was incredibly smart and ambitious. Very savvy, very smart, very ambitious. She understood how the system worked. She understood Hollywood. She understood publicity. Uh, probably one of the smarter young actresses to come along during the 40s. Uh, you know, and it worked to her advantage, but so sometimes it didn't. And that was primarily based on the powerful men who controlled her. One of the things that we'll touch on is um, her involvement in the war effort during World War II and a screenplay that was based on her experiences with three other actresses. And I'm going to show a picture of that right now. Yes. Uh, you know, Carol did a very famous USO tour um, along with actress Kay Francis and comedian Martha Ray and singer Mitzi Mayfair. And uh, she wrote a book about her exploits, you know, traveling throughout the world, entertaining the troops. And it was turned into a movie, uh, Four Jills in a Jeep. Uh, and it really showed what a patriotic woman uh, Carol was. She really cared about what was going on in the war. She cared about the troops. Uh, you know, she really did her part, maybe more than any other actress in Hollywood. And one thing that we will touch on in this episode is the fact that in hindsight, you know, Carol Landis' story is truly a cautionary tale of the very and real dark side of the Hollywood dream. It really is. And the tragedy of her life in many ways. We hope you'll check us out next week and you can find us wherever you find your podcasts. Well, next time, 